Hey guys, what's up? By Sectatron here. Welcome to today's video. This one is going to be a quick one, sharing my favorite attack strategy at Town Hall 10. As you guys know, I mainly play on my Town Hall 10 account, and there's a lot of different things that are working right now, but Town Hall 10 hit rates are still lower than we might expect. Uh, given the stone slammer and all the new stuff that is available at town hall 10 so this is an interesting strategy it worked twice actually um and i think these weren't even the best attacks so it shows this is actually a pretty powerful strategy even if you don't execute it correctly there's some pretty good room for error and this is a, a good strategy for people that aren't as skilled with maybe advanced queen charges and all this crazy stuff that you might see people do on youtube um okay so basically how this works is it is a queen walk into a relatively big kill squad, wall wrecker, bowlers, giants, the king, a um, bunch of spells with witches on the flank. But also, it's not just your typical queen walk into a bow witch, but there's also hogs involved. And the hogs play an important role that make this, I think, a more successful attack. So this first one here, doing the queen walk, you want to start it just on a simple easy to do side typically most bases have one side and you do have to it is a little tricky because you do have to come in opposite the town hall in order to get value for that wall wrecker had to pop the queen's ability there because she locked on to the defensive queen um so it does limit you in that sense that your queen walk's typically going to have to start on one of the sides and then move towards the back of the base away from the town hall so you can start using that wall wrecker to cut across but typically on most bases you can be creative and find some kind of small queen walk doesn't have to be a lot but what the queen walk's doing is it's creating a funnel by taking everything out over here. Notice that there's like an air sweeper, uh, air defense, uh, another non-defensive building. That helps because the queen takes out all the defenses on this left side. I've talked about this before. Now, um, the next defenses are over here, which is right in the line of the wall wrecker in the main push. So the queen, even though she's only taking out one layer of the base, she's really taking out um, an entire side in terms of defenses, uh, which really helps with the funneling and with the, the troops not being flanked later on. Um, so the witches go around the outside raging we have a heal as well typically you're going to use like two to three rages maybe one heal maybe no heals we do have the healers um and then the hogs come in typically on the side of the witches sorry to pause so much but um not one hogs kind of flying in the air by the free spell uh the hogs come in to kind of help the witches because typically as the witches turn the corner especially with a wizard tower expo stuff like that they tend to go down um the skeletons can't quite tank sufficiently so we send in the hogs with like one heal spell sometimes uh to basically take out a small part of the base protect the witches that way um you know the witches will make it all the way to the back end of the base so it's a very nice technique to do um, the spells were not used that well here. That one rage didn't really get a whole lot. The bowlers that come out of the wall wrecker will get a little value from it. Uh, that one heal only got a few hogs in it. So not even the best spell placement, but it doesn't really matter. Um, this is a very good strategy at having room for error. Um, but the, the composition is simple. I like bringing three freezes, uh, CC poison. Then you have a choice of four spells in terms of rages and heals typically three rages one heal or two rages and two heals depends if you have to rage up your queen on the queen walk in part um, sometimes you'll have to use her ability and in some cases it's just better to use the ability early save those spells for the troops that get that mass effect from it rather than just using the rage on your queen where it only affects her um, there are some trade-offs but that's just kind of my thoughts anyway uh, just one more attack to take a look at just looking at my two hits from this war um moving down just one this was actually my first hit here um very similar um but different in one way because you look at this base and you think there's not this is what you guys might have been thinking on the first attack well oftentimes there's not a great place to do a queen walk or something to start a uh to start and to lead into that wall record push on the opposite side of the base this might be a good example but we still are able to make a good queen walk out of it and we'll see the hogs are used in another creative way, which is another good alternative way to use them. You guys will see what I mean in just a moment. But these ha we had these nice bowler bounces to make for a good funnel on that side. Drop down the queen. There is the single. There is the multi. But it's going to be okay. And also, you guys might be thinking, 
On the last attack, this area right here that the queen couldn't quite reach was dead space, but now this time we have a single inferno sitting there, so it seems like we're kind of missing a defense and nothing's going to be able to account for that as we go through. But that's what the hogs are for, and that's why this attack is more <laughs> versatile than like a bow witch, for example, because the hogs can kind of cover where you need to. In the last attack, they helped cover the witches. The witches had a difficult side turning the corner with like an expo, wizard tower, other defenses, stuff like that. Um, in this case, it's a little bit easier on the witches. They do end up dying because there's like a Tesla right, well, right here. It's about to pop. Uh, there's the Tesla. So they do end up dying because of that unfortunate Tesla and the angle they come in on. However, um, they would have been just fine if it wasn't for that. Um, went ahead and used the queen's ability again here to take out once again the defensive queen. Kind of funny how these both happened in that way. Wall record coming through. Bowlers, king. Everything making its way on in. The healers are going to switch nicely onto everything else. Witches did a great job creating the funnel, even though they will go down. Then check it out. Um, we're dealing with the CC troops. You're thinking, okay, that, that single inferno uh, is, you know, out of range of pretty much everything. It's going to be an issue. But here we come with the hogs. They're not only going to take out that single inferno, but kind of join the fight. Um, I do kind of do a weird heal spell on them because I didn't want to heal them, but then they hit a giant bomb and I panicked and healed them. Didn't need to do that. Could have saved the heal a little longer, but it's whatever. Uh, the witches are dead, but that's fine. Um, there's a lot of room for error, like I said. And the wall wrecker tends to get a great push because we're freezing uh, the single infernos when we need to to help protect the wall wrecker. That is um, something you'll notice, is because the queen's cr funneling one side, the witches are funneling the other, you have giants to tank, the wall wrecker uh, will get very far, as long as you freeze the CC troops correctly and any single infernos, um, and that's a big part of this push, because you drop those CC bowlers, and the CC bowlers basically come out and the attack's almost over. Um, so, everything worked out nicely, both heroes at full health, uh, one of the healers is still alive, and this will pretty much wrap up this video. Um, so thank you guys for watching. Quick video, I know, but I wanted to share this kind of unique strategy. You've probably seen it before, even seen it on my channel uh, once or twice and maybe a live attack video or like some kind of war recap. But something important to highlight for you guys looking for some Town Hall 10, you know, easy go-to attack uh, strategies. That will do it. Wish me a happy birthday in the comments and I'll see you guys later. Bisectatron out.